YouTube, it's Lena, and it is the 1st of July, which means it's time for an update of my 12 Empties by Christmas. This is my second update. I will link the original video and the first update down below. For those of you that don't know, this was started by Genco Empties on Instagram. The idea behind it is to grab 12 full-size products that you kind of neglect, so that in hopes that you can finish them by Christmas. Yay! I have good news and bad news, and I, the good news is that some of the products I have really gotten some good usage out of, and I think they might be done maybe within the next month or two. The bad news is I have a lot of products I haven't really used. This is partially because I just started a new Project Pan, of which I will also link down below. I actually have a Project Pan playlist that I will link. But there, it, like my lipsticks and my lip glosses, I have not really been focusing on those because I have a lipstick and a lip gloss in that. They're both either small or don't have a lot of products, so I'm hoping that in a month they will be done so that I can focus back on the products in here. But you know what, let me just get started and show you guys what I have actually worked on. Let's see first, the Charmed Apple Body Spray. This is where I'm at now. The mark above the actual Charmed Apple name is where I was and this is all I have left. I use this as a room spray because while I like the smell, it does not agree with my body chemistry or something like that because when I put it on me, it smells really bad. So I would not repurchase this, but it is the Bodycology Charmed Apple Spray, by the way. So you can pick this up at like Walmart and Target or whatever when they sell the scent in the fall. So I think that is a limited edition fall scent, but it is really nice. I've used it in like, the I used a sample of the lotion and I used the uh, body wash before and those were really nice. But something about the spray, it does not agree with my body chemistry. Next is the big sexy hair spray and play volumizing hairspray. I have no idea where I am in this. I tried marking it at first as you can see here but now when I shake it it sounds like it's higher than I marked it and I just don't know. It's a freaking opaque hairspray bottle. I, I, I can't see through it to mark it. There's nothing I can do to see through that. So I'm just gonna keep saying, yeah, I use this some this month. So there's that. I do use this on occasion, like when I wear my hair up, I use this to tame flyaways. Let's see, uh, next I have the I Love Blackberry Lotion. And as you can see, I've used a ton more of it. Last month I was up here and I had only used a little bit because I was finishing a different lotion. But now this is my main lotion and it is now down to here. And I think I can get through this in about two more months because I need a lot of this because it is a very light lotion. It smells amazing and for the summer a light lotion is fine. Oh, it smells so good. It is the I Love Raspberry and Blackberry, by the way. I wrote it, I apparently for, forgot to write down the raspberry part when I wrote all of this down in my notebook. But I really do love this. I, I got it on sale at Walgreens, so I sadly don't think you can get it anymore, at least not at like Walgreens or whatever. You might be able to find it online. It is a really nice raspberry and blackberry scent. It's just a very light lotion, so if you need something heavier, it's not gonna work for you. But right now, in the summer, it works fine. Let's see, the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation, I still have not used because I cannot use it in the summer. It, my face eats it. I put it in here thinking that uh, once fall rolled around and winter, I was going to use it then. My Maybelline primer, I have not used this month because I have a primer in my Project Pan and I have a primer in my Five by Fall, which I use them together. And one of them is a green primer that gets rid of redness. So there's absolutely no reason to use the Maybelline primer right now. Now, once I use up that green primer, I will go back to using the Maybelline primer again. I'll use it basically on the outskirts of my face and I use it over my cheeks. Thank you, phone, that was, that was important. Next, I have my e.l.f. Little Mermaid bronzer and Surf's Up. Still have not freaking hit pan on it. I did poke a hole in it to see how close I was and I am really close. If you look at it closely, you can actually see the pan rings in it. I'm only using this to bronze up my face right now. I have a contour stick in my project pan, but once that is done, I have, I tried it one day and I can contour with this and it looks fine. This bronzer is a tiny bit shimmery, but it really just comes off more as a glow on your face. There's no like huge chunks of glitter in it. So once I finish the contour stick, I have another use to this and I can use it even a little bit faster. But next time you see this, I should have pan showing. 
Let's see, the Urban Decay Pencil in Ozone. As you can see, I have used up way more of this. That is because about every three uses, it gets flat and I have to sharpen it. So the first mark is where I started. The mark above it is from last month and now we have this. So, um, I just dropped the lid so I have to get it. Ah! Don't worry, I'll edit this out. There we go. So I don't know how much longer I have in this exactly. Probably at least another two months, but it is, I like that I can see major progress on it every time I measure it. And that makes me really happy. Let's see, next we have the Be A Bombshell Stick and Girl Crush, which this was the one thing I was a little hesitant to put in here because a lot of it was gone, but this is super neglected. Like I had not used this since last year when I put it in here. As you can see, there's not a lot left. You probably can't even see down there. That is all that's left. So if you look at the mark, it looks like I don't use much, but I use this a decent amount. The thing is, there's a lot of surface area and how I use it is I rub my finger on it and I tap it on my cheekbone. I don't like to use this down the center of my face. So it doesn't move very fast. This was the problem I had when I had this in my ongoing project pan last year was that it doesn't move very fast. But I do know that I can probably use this up in about another two months. And that makes me happy because I don't actually really like this. There's way too much glitter in it for me to use it as what it's kind of real intent is, even though it's called the one stick that you can use anywhere. They're really cream blushes. And if it was a better color, it would go a lot faster because then I could use it as a cream blush. Anyways, uh, the Bath & Body Works Coconut Vanilla Lotion, I have not used it. I did not go grab it. And that is because I am using this. But like I said, in another month or two, this will be gone and I can start on that. The Revlon Lip Butter in Sugar Plum, I have used this a couple of times, but there is no measurable progress. And the thing is, when I did try to check, I broke it. I was able to shove it back down in the tube like it came loose from its base. It didn't actually like break and fall off, thank God. So I would not be able to measure it that way anymore. From now on, we're going to play the look down in the tube game, which here it is right here. And one problem with the lipsticks that I chose for this, other than what I added in last month, is I chose very fall-based colors. So I don't want to use them a lot right now. Let's see. Um, I have the e.l.f. Hyper Shine Lip Gloss. I, haven't, I think I've used it like twice. There is no measurable progress, so I didn't mark it. My MAC lipstick and Plum Fool. I did use this a couple more times and actually used up enough. This is what it looks like, by the way, to get a different measurement. Oh, crap. There you go. There it is right there. There it is without it in the way of actually blocking the measurement. So there has been a little bit of progress. Like these two lipsticks, because they are such kind of darker colors, I don't like to use them too much right now, says the person with, well, these are darker than this. So I can give myself that. So once fall rolls around, these will probably be the only two things I'm really using, but now I don't really want to use them. So I threw in two more products. I threw in the Maybelline Color Whisper and Pop of Peony, which I have actually made decent progress on. That is it right there. And I honestly thought I'd made more progress because I, I mean, I wore my Project Pan stuff more, but I did wear this a lot, so I don't know. And with it, I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. This packaging is opaque. I can't see through it, so no matter what I do, like I can swirl the brush around and holy crap, I just actually saw through the thing. Huh. I could have sworn this packaging was opaque. Holy crap, look at that. No, I can see through it. Thing is, I don't think, I don't, I don't, I think it's all covering the bottle then. So, you know, maybe by next month, 
it'll actually have gone down and I can show you progress. I totally thought this crap was opaque. Huh. And yet now I can actually move it around enough that I can see through it, which I guess means I have made progress on it. I just don't know how much. Learn something new every day. Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.